seven of the most feared people in hip-hop. It's widely accepted that many of today's rappers may not have as much experience living the things that they talk about. Rap, like all other music, is entertainment, and to some extent, rappers' personas are fabricated to make their music more interesting. However, there are a few rappers in the industry who sit at the total opposite of the spectrum, whose personas fully align with their music and there is concrete proof that they've lived through the hardships and in some cases, misdeeds that they've claimed to. As a result, there are a handful of artists and businessmen within the industry that are not only respected but feared by their peers and not all of them are feared simply because they have a rap sheet. For some, it's the level of influence and the ability to use that influence that makes them an intimidating force. For others, it may be a public misconception about their brand or their mission that makes them feared by the public. Whatever the reason may be, there are a few selects in hip-hop that have reached an almost mythical level of intimidation. Before we reveal who they are, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, here are the 7 of the most feared people on hip-hop. Number 7. Eminem Despite the frown that he's been wearing on his face for the last 25 years, Eminem is not a particularly imposing person and it's hard to imagine his name on the list of the most feared in hip-hop. Despite some early assaults and bad three charges in his career, Eminem actually makes this list because of an immense level of influence within the rap industry. It's well known that Eminem started his career as a battle rapper, but his antagonistic personality makes him a great target for beef. Historically, those who have challenged Eminem to a feud are unlikely to win and their careers often suffer because of it. Rappers like Everlast and Benzeno are people who have found their career damaged by a beef with Eminem, but rapper Machine Gun, Kelly, who began beefing Eminem in 2018, is the first to speak out about how exactly this happens. According to Kelly, a tweet in 2012 in which he called Eminem's daughter highly hot as F managed his career significantly and Eminem is behind it. According to MJK, the tweet made EM so angry that he banned MJK from ever appearing on his radio station Shade 4 to 5 or any of its athletes including Sirius XM. He goes on to state that there are plenty of publications that won't quote, even listed or review my album because of this tweet. Number 6. Didi Today, Didi is known more for his piling business empire than his music. His umbrella company, Syncom Enterprises, owns or possesses stakes in various companies like St. John Clothing and Ciroc Vodka, leaving the rapper with a whopping net worth of $820 million. But the sad truth is that you don't usually achieve that level of success without cultivating a reputation as a ruthless businessman willing to step on others to get there. And unfortunately, Diddy seems to be no exception to this rule. After working his way up to the ranks in Uptown Records, Diddy went on to create his own label, Bad Boys Records. While the label's most famous signee was a notorious B.I.G., it is also home to a host of smaller acts such as Mezzi and Machine Gun Kelly. However, a few artists have spoken out about Diddy claiming he doesn't take care of his artists. Most recently, Massey called out Diddy, who was recently called out as a Grammys for disrespecting black music. On Instagram, Massey claims that Diddy recruited him for an unfairly low signing bonus and has denied him publishing royalties for over 24 years. If you think that's mistreating the artist you sign, there's more. For ever two decades, Diddy has been rumored to be involved in the shooting of the notorious B.I.G., his own artist. Allegedly, Diddy was instrumental in the shooting of rival label signee Tupac Shaku and his manager. When the shooter was only able to kill Shaku, Tupac's manager hired a gang member to murder Biggie a year later. This is a rumor that Eminem has spoken on and later apologized for. Number 5. Dababi When you take tall first glance at Dababi, it might be hard to imagine being afraid of him. He comes off as a very polite and has a charismatic personality. However, despite this, Dababi has shown countless times that he's not someone to be messed with. As his fame grows exponentially after going viral with his heat surge, Dababi proved he was unpredictably prone to violence. On multiple occasions, the rapper faced lawsuits for assaults, once after slapping a female fan which he said he didn't realize she was a female, once after allowing a security team to beat up a male fan and once for beating up a club owner himself. Despite this, the most intimidating incident involving Dababi likely happened in November of 2018 while in the North Carolina war match with his daughter and girlfriend, Dababi was approached by Giant Cry who allegedly pulled out a firearm and attempted to rob him. Dababi, who was in possession of an illegally concealed weapon, pulled it out and fired, killing Craig. The case went to court and the murder charge was ultimately dismissed when the jury found out that the rapper to have been acting in self-defense. Number 4. Birdman Birdman is a bizarre and enigmatic figure. He once kissed Lil Wayne on the mouth and he also participates in low-rate hip-hop reality shows. At the same time, he runs a label that shaped the early 2000s hip-hop and gave us access to some of the industry's most successful rappers such as Drake, Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj. But for many, Birdman is sort of a boogeyman, nefarious and demanding respect. 
Birdman spent his early life in the crime-ridden streets of New Orleans, selling drugs with his half-brother drug kingpin Terence Williams, who is currently serving life in prison. While Birdman has faced similar charges, he only served two and a half years in prison and managed to start cash money records with his brother having given him the funding. During this time, Birdman established a relationship as a controlling and often violent force over his artists forcing them to perform rain, sleet or snow, providing exploitative contracts and refusing to let acts leave the label. As cash money continues to grow, Birdman began to invest his money in less than reputable sources including an oil company that brought him under suspicion of tax evasion and money laundering but for years Birdman operated in relatively secrecy. To this day, his most public misconduct was in 2015 when he and Young Thug allegedly had someone shoot up Lee Wayne's tour bus as he was traveling on an Atlanta highway. Wayne was in fact inside the bus at the time of the shooting and it supposedly happened because of the public dispute with Birdman over his record contract and also his one-sided feud with Young Thug who had been berating him for months. Despite an incident linking Birdman to the incident, Birdman and Lee Wayne have rekindled their relationship and we never heard Birdman address the shooting. Number 3. Gucci Mane If you ever want a better look into the psyche of Gucci Mane, you should read his self-titled autobiography. In the book, the rapper recounts everything from his rough upbringing in Atlanta, his time spent as a drug dealer and the infamous murder charge he eventually beat. But one of the most interesting things the book reveals is that there is hard documentable proof for every rumor about Gucci except for the rumor that he is a clone. Gucci spent the better portion of his early career in and out of jail for a variety of charges ranging from drug possession and distribution to assault and battering. Even Gucci admitted that he found street life alluring long after he had financial means to leave it behind and he quickly developed a reputation for being a calculating but volatile and often violent person but perhaps the most infamous incident in Gucci's life took place in 2005 while at a friend's house a group of men barged in and attempted to conduct a robbery. Gucci and his crew were armed and began to fire back at the intruders. One was hit and passed away on the scene. Not too long after, Gucci knew that he was in the light and so he turned himself into the counter police. Over the next few years, Gucci leaned into his reputation as a tough guy and murderer. He routinely calls out peers on social media for minor alterations, ruined his relationship with Walker Flocker Flame and went into prison three times. This incident was only compounded upon when years later, at the height of his addition to Opoid, Gucci was arrested for acting erratically and ultimately confronting Atlanta police while holding a handgun. This began Gucci's final prison sentence during the time which was found reform and decided to turn his life around. He came out of prison healthier than ever, looking to stay out of trouble for good and to this day Gucci hasn't been back to prison since. Number 2. Suge Knight If there was once universally Pokemon of rap, it would be Suge Knight. Knight's criminal record is extensive and his involvement in some of the largest rap scandals ever is still in debate today and of course is currently serving 28 years in federal penitentiary. Sitch Knight was the owner of Death Row Records, a record label that came into extreme success and mainstream attention after signing Tupac Shakur during Pac's incarceration in 1995, signing free Tupac from prison while his trial commenced. Tupac was with Knight on the night they assaulted Orlando Anderson, a Compton creep who was thought to have led to the murder of Tupac later that same night. After Tupac's passing, Death Row began struggling and Knight turned to shabby business practices, employing gang members and allegedly utilizing intimidation and even torture to solidify business deals. Serge himself has had a long history of legal trouble between 1995 and 2017. Knight has been incarcerated eight times. At one point, he supposedly dangled vanilla ice over a Beverly Hills hotel balcony, forcing the Ice Baby rapper to give Switch the rights to several of his albums. And while he never got in trouble for that, Switch is currently serving 28 years in prison for a hit and run. While you would think facing 28 years would calm you down, he was constantly sending threats to the director of Straight Outta Compton for whatever reason. This played a part in his sentencing and his release date is scheduled for 2046. Number 1. Jay Prince For casual rap fans, the only introduction to Jay Prince might have been his role in squashing the beef between Drake and Pusha T. However, the mysterious figure has had a long-standing history as one of the most feared and respected people in hip-hop. CEO of Rap A Lot Records, Prince is responsible for launching the careers of various artists such as legendary group UGK and bringing southern hip-hop to prominence in the late 80s. Since then, Prince has held a unique position as a mentor to various high-profile rappers such as Drake. As a result, Prince found himself into wind in some rap most dangerous and famous situations, including a failed attempt to alert Bad Boys records of a hit on a notorious P.I.G. According to rumors, Prince had long-standing connections all around America and is not afraid to use them to protect his protégés or attack his enemies. Legend goes that Prince's relationship with gangster disciples legend Larry Hoover allow his artists safe pass through even the toughest Chicago neighborhoods. Prince is even credited with helping Drake receive proper payment after his debut with Birdman over Young Money royalty payments. 
Drake signed to Rap A Lot Records in 2008 before he signed to Cash Money. Today, the two still have a tight relationship and Drake has made songs like Mob Ties alerting to his relationship with Prince. So, did the people on this list shock you? Who do you think is the most feared? Be sure to let us know in the comment section and before you leave, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel.